Yukon High School's North Campus Media Center, fondly known as the 1112 Library, has served thousands of students, faculty, and community members during its 20 years of operation. In 2011, it is an example of many Oklahoma high school centers with much of its form and collection belonging to the 20th century. In 1991, as part of an addition to the original building, the 1112 library included upgraded features. Then librarian Pat McCune was asked for her help. We asked for uh, computer drops to be in all of the support columns. We were not at that time automated, but we knew the library would become automated and we would need computer drops. We wanted lots of electrical outlets. We also wanted a circulation desk that was large enough to facilitate usage of the new large room. That was designed and built by Earl Zerby. Furniture, we were told to use the bookshelves that were in the old library, which were in great shape, so we figured where to place all of those. At that time, we had no additional shelving available, but we knew we would have wall shelving built to incorporate the rest of the walls as uh, money became available and the shop department could get to that project. We decided we needed at least a hundred chairs and tables to accommodate that area, and it's almost an antique now, but we had to design an area for microfish because all of the magazines, the back issues, some were on microfish, so we created an area for that and then a magazine area to store the hard copy because that's how things were stored back in the 80s. Circulation was a type, hand stamp, and record operation. Today, much of Mrs. McCune's planning is still evident in this library. The wooden tables and chairs, shelving that divides areas for several classes to work simultaneously, the much used and quirky laminator, the ribbon rack used for fundraising balloon sales, and the newspaper shelf built by her father are still used each day. IBM Selectrix used for typing magazine and spine labels sit on the counter and in the office. Metal shelving installed to store periodicals now hold the film collection made up of VHS tapes and newer DVDs. Overheads can still be checked out from storage rooms ready for use by teachers using classrooms not equipped with smart boards, LCD projectors, or Elmo document cameras. Some changes have occurred in the center. Dell Optiplex computers now operate in a class area. At search stations, the circulation desk and office. Follett's Destiny program has streamlined circulation and inventory management. A few playaway editions of sources, a 4-in-1 printer, copier, scanner, fax machine, a mobile iTouch cart, and a mobile MacBook cart are even more recent additions. These carts are often checked out by teachers for their classes to produce a variety of projects. A relaxed reading area with patio furniture and an electric fireplace were added during the past two years to offer an inviting and comfortable space for study or pleasure reading. Some of today's popular titles, such as Shonen Jump Magazine and One Piece, are in the quickly growing manga section of the center. Current popular titles like The Hunger Games, Wake, Impulse and Renee Yohe's The Purpose for the Pain are books now kept on the original wooden shelves. The future of this media center is one of change and progress. In August of 2011, Yukon High School will have a new home, moving from Garth Brooks Boulevard and Yukon Avenue to Yukon Parkway, just north of Interstate 40. One of the first areas patrons will see upon entering the new school is the Media Center, located on the Rotunda and Main Street, the main hallway. 
Combining the holdings of today's North and South Campus libraries, this new wireless environment will provide opportunities to its patrons of the 21st century.